Hello friends. Welcome to Simply Clouded. Let us take a look at some common interview questions related to AWS S3 service. Question 1. How much data can I store in Amazon S3? The answer is individual Amazon S3 objects can range in size from a minimum of 0 bytes to a maximum of 5 terabytes. Question 2. What storage classes does Amazon S3 offer? The answer is S3 storage classes include S3 standard for general purpose storage of frequently accessed data, S3 intelligent during for data with unknown or changing access patterns, S3 standard in frequent access and S3 one zone in frequent access for long lived but less frequently accessed data, and Amazon S3 Glacier and Amazon S3 Glacier Deep Archive for long term archive and digital preservation. Question 3 How do I decide? which AWS region to store my data in? The answer is We will consider a region to store our S3 data which is near to your customers, your data centers, or your other AWS resources in order to reduce data access latencies, is remote from your other operations for geographic redundancy and disaster recovery purposes, allows you to reduce storage costs. You can also choose a lower priced region to save money. Question 4 what is an Amazon VPC endpoint for Amazon S3? The answer is An Amazon VPC endpoint for Amazon S3 is a logical entity within a VPC that allows connectivity only to S3. The VPC endpoint routes requests to S3 and routes responses back to the VPC. Question 5 Can I allow a specific Amazon VPC endpoint access to my Amazon S3 bucket? The answer is you can limit access to your bucket from a specific Amazon VPC endpoint, or a set of endpoints using Amazon S3 bucket policies. Question 6. What is versioning in AWS Simple Storage Service? The answer is. Versioning allows you to preserve, retrieve, and restore every version of every object stored in an Amazon S3 bucket. Question 7. Can I have a bucket, that has different objects, in different storage classes and availability zones? The answer is. Yes, you can have a bucket that has different objects stored in S3 standard, S3 standard IA and S3 one zone IA storage classes. Question 8. How can I retrieve my objects that are archived in Amazon S3 Glacier? The answer is. To retrieve Amazon S3 data stored in the S3 Glacier storage class, initiate a retrieval request using the Amazon S3 APIs, or the Amazon S3 management console. Question 9. What is S3 Transfer Acceleration? The answer is Amazon S3 Transfer Acceleration enables fast, easy, and secure transfers of files over long distances between your client and your Amazon S3 bucket. Question 10 In S3, what is a bucket policy? The answer is A bucket policy is a resource based AWS IAM policy. You add a bucket policy to a bucket to grant other AWS accounts or IAM users access permissions for the bucket and the objects in it. Object permissions apply only to the objects that the bucket owner creates. Question 11. What is the default S3 bucket policy? The answer is. By default, all Amazon S3 buckets and objects are private. Only the resource owner which is the AWS account that created the bucket, can access that bucket. The resource owner can, however, Choose to grant access permissions to other resources and users. Question 12. What is S3 lifecycle policy? The answer is. Lifecycle policies allow you to automatically review objects within your S3 buckets and have them move to Glacier or have the objects deleted from S3. Last question. What is S3 intelligent tiering? The answer is. S3 intelligent tiering is the first cloud object storage class that delivers automatic cost savings by moving data between two access tiers, frequent access and infrequent access, when access patterns change, and is ideal for data with unknown or changing access patterns. Thank you for watching. Please like, share and subscribe for more such videos at Simply Clouded. To subscribe our channel, please hit the bell icon at the bottom.